Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your place to see real virtual tours on HUD homes in and around San Antonio and the South Texas area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at the YouTube page, if you click subscribe, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here at 4110 Bay Oaks. That's 4110 Bay Oaks over in Mount Laurel. Mount Laurel is right off of Wurzbach near I-10, not far from the medical center. This is a fantastic area. This is a really charming four bedroom, two bath, little garden home. This home is approximately 1,832 square feet. It was built in 1969. The exterior is brick and stucco. There is a little bit of wood trim around the home. It sits on about a 7,500 square foot lot. Has a little two-car garage here. And best of all, it's about $18,000 underneath the county appraisal. Quite a bit of savings here. Beautiful tile roof, secluded wall. Let's take a look at the backyard and then the inside. Exterior-wise, looks like it needs a little bit of paint along the old stucco and possibly a little bit of wood repair up front. We have a little entryway here. So you have a little private area. Little wood trellis here. Let's look at the backyard. Well, there are a number of ways to get out into the backyard. This is a really neat custom, looks like a custom home. Probably not though because of the community, but it is a really neat home, has a lot of potential. Right now we're coming into the backyard off of the living room. We have a wooden trellis here. Needs a little bit of work. The home does have an in-ground pool, which is kind of neat. Does it even have an upgraded waterfall for that? Now, we don't know the condition of the pool. When HUD sells these homes, they sell them as is. Typically, the pools sometimes need servicing, but I've sold quite a few to owners and they haven't had any pool problems other than getting it cleaned. So you do have access to the side of the home through the gate right up front. And there's actually a way to get out to the backyard from the master bedroom up there. There's a room right here off of the dining room, which can bring you outside, as well as access to the backyard off of these two sliding doors, one in each bedroom. So it does have quite a few different ways to get out to the backyard. It's an orange tree back here. Now that road right behind the home is Wurzbach. So you are literally seconds away from I-10 if you drive to work or commute to work. Very easy commute. Tons of potential. Let's go down the side over here and I'll show you how you can get to the backyard from the master bedroom. So you have those sliding glass doors that open up and take you into the backyard. Just walk down this little wooden pathway to your pool, take a little dip. Let's look at the inside. Well, as we make our way in, one neat thing that it does have, it looks like it has the original hardware here to open the doors, kind of neat handle. So we walk in, we're sort of in a little entry way here. If we turn to the right, we have access into your garage, two car garage, it is brick. Now in the garage, you have your storage areas here, water heater, furnace will be in here. You have an access into getting a little garden area there through the garage, but I'll show you that in one minute. Now, if you come in the front door and you make a left, we're immediately into bedroom number one. Bedroom number one is also the master bedroom with a master bath has a pretty decent ceramic tile floor. I think you can salvage it. Has a very high vaulted ceiling. You have mirrors on this wall as well as mirrored closets. And then you have access into getting into that backyard right here through those sliding glass doors. It is a single vanity, kind of an interesting lighting there. And then it does have a shower only. So we come over, single commode, and a standalone shower with these pretty bricks. Um, that actually looks in decent shape. Maybe put a nicer shower head in there. Now when we're back in the entryway right here, we can either go left. If we go left, we go into your living room. Living room has a very, very high vaulted ceiling. They put down sort of a wood floor and the wood floors are in decent shape. There is a small bit of damage over by the doors. I'll show you that in one second, but those are the sliding glass doors that take you outside. If we were to continue straight through the front entryway. Then we come over to this little outside garden area. It's a really neat little private garden area. This is a pretty popular um, light maker here in San Antonio. It's a neat little piece there. If we turn to the left, this is sort of like a little formal dining area. You could use this as a formal dining or formal living and really use it for whatever you like. 
And then we make our way over to your main living room, which we saw just a second ago. As you can see, very high vaulted ceilings, nice wood floors. Over here by the door though, see if this, this will pick it up. There seems to be a little bit of damage there. Maybe a little bit of water came in when it rained. I'm not sure, but something you wanna look at. Come around here, then we are into your kitchen. So it's a very bright and open kitchen, tons of countertop space, lots of cabinetry. It is an electric range. And then you have a, really a dining room here. This could be a second living area if you wanted. If you wanted to use the, the formal up front as your dining room, this could be a second living area. In fact, it looks like they had a, a TV mounted on the wall there. Then you have these huge doors that take you out to the backyard. Now, if we pan to the right over here, you'll see there's a hallway that takes you to some bedrooms, but there's also these two bifold doors that take you into bedroom number two. So this could either be bedroom number two because it does have a closet, or it could be an office or study that has its own access into the backyard. We'll come around this way. You have an indoor laundry room. Your washer and dryer connections are inside, which is a definitely a nice perk. Beautiful saltillo floor. We come through and we make a left, and this is bedroom number two once again. That's access through the hallway. Directly across from that, we have full bathroom number two. Full bathroom number two has some very ornate tile. It's a shower and tub combo, single bambi. Right next to that, we have bedroom number three. Bedroom number three has its own access out into that little private garden. Has wood floors. They're a little bit damaged by the wall over there. Might be able to be salvaged. Needs a fresh coat of paint. Right across from that is bedroom number four. Bedroom number four has its own access also out into that backyard through these sliding glass doors. Little bifold closets, charming little chandelier. The whole house does have that old 60s slash 70s intercom system. If you wanted to use that, kind of antique. But that's about it. Really Neat Home has a ton of potential. As I mentioned, it's about $18,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's in a great area. We very rarely get them over here. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 4110 Bay Oaks Drive. That's 4110 Bay Oaks Drive over off of Wurzbach near the Medical Center. And this beautiful four-bedroom home is unique, has a ton of potential, and is listed right now for $18,000 underneath the county appraisal, listed for only $160,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706. 0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King and I want to help you find your castle.